How's it going, guys? This is Fiery Faxkin here, and welcome to a game called The Old Tree. Now, this is one that I, I found while I was looking for games for the Halloween, the Halloween special, or the Halloween month that I was looking for, the Spooktober. And uh, I was... I wasn't sure if it was really a spooky game or what, but it looks really, really cool. Um, I do believe it's a free game on Steam as well. So, if you guys want to go check it out and uh, go play it for yourself, that's kind of cool. I don't know how to do this. Oh! Cool. I think it's like a little clicker game, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh my god, it's creepy. Do I, do I get to move the guy? Oh, I have to click on things. Interesting. I have nothing, I, I don't know anything about this game. It just looked really, really cool. The art style looked neat, and the gameplay looked kind of weird. So I figured I'd give it a shot, and uh, yeah, see, <laughs> see how it goes. Let's see. Click that on. Okay, so he won't move if you don't have if he doesn't have any lights. That's kind of neat. Oh, flop, floppy. Oh, this is cool. So it again, I don't know anything about this game, but it really it looks like um, it's more of a uh, of kind of like a story-driven game or art artsy kind of style game. What's that? Can I click on it? What about that? What the heck? Oh boy. What the heck happened there? Drop. Boop. Oh no. There we go. Get him. Okay. Now, how do I. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hang on. I figured it out. I got it. I got it. So I gotta get the fly to come down here. Grab that. And then I think I have to. Nope. Okay. Apparently not. Oh boy, this is going to take a little bit. Where do I have to drop this? I don't, I don't get it. I didn't dro I dropped it on him and that didn't work. What about over here? Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So it's like a little bit of a puzzle based game then, obviously. Oh, that is neat. I love these kind of games. They tell a story without actually without actually saying anything. It's like it's old-fashioned. Uh, oh, whoops! Shoot! What did I do? Okay. <laughs> Ding! What happened? Oh, there it goes. Wait. What? What else can I click on? I don't. I don't understand what's. Oh. Ah. Three, two, uh, one. Yay! Okay, perfect. There we go. That is cool. Some of these, some of these are just kind of interesting. The way that everything works, and he moves completely by himself. Oh, he's so cute too. Uh, let's go to. Whoops. Oh, hang on. Uh, boop, 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 boop. No. No? Why not? How about that? Yes? I did this, and it didn't work. Maybe I can click on something? Where is it going? I don't, I don't get it. There. What about that? No? What if I do it the other way? That way? Oh wait, that one. Yes? No? What is this? There is so much not going on here. There it goes. Okay, I had it. Okay, it wasn't as convoluted as I thought it was. That zero, that point equals that point, so therefore I needed to go the opposite direction. Okay, makes sense. Now, let's see. Ah, there it goes. Cool! See, I knew that that little button was had to do something, but I needed it to do something first. 
it needed to make like a noise or something like that. Holy crap! Okay, Th this is a little bit freakier than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Ah, neat. Come on. Go for it. Go for it, buddy. Okay, I gotta wait for him. I think I need to actually just keep on clicking on this guy. Nope. There we go. Oops. Whoa. Is that it? No. Nope. Apparently I'm not allowed to touch that. Ah, there it goes. Ah. Okay. Ah, perfect. Ha! That was just complete bull schnitzel luck. Complete bullshit luck. Because that was that I, I just kept clicking. I don't know. I, I, if I had kept clicking and nothing worked, I probably would have figured it out. But it, that it's only three things. It's not that difficult. There's only so many, so many different combinations. Oh boy! What? 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 Whoa! 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 Yeah! Please don't. There we go. Yeah! That's the way to do it. Okay. We need to uh, make sure that this. Actually, I don't think that there's any way for you to die in this game. So, it's kind of cool that way. Ah, uh, yay. This is actually a really, really neat game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it all in one, but... Ah, look at this. Let's see, what? Can I, can I cut it right off? Oh. Plunk! Yeah, into the pot. Click another one. Oh, I'm making a soup. And I gotta save the carrots from the flies. There we go. Let's see. Does this drop automatically or do I have to click on it? I have been clicking on it the whole time. Ah, he's making soup. Get out of here. I'm going to make a soup. Oh, okay. It does do it automatically. Cool. Oh. No? He's going somewhere? Oh, I had to get him to get the hell out of here. That's cool. And then my little my little alien buddy can actually keep going. That is neat. The only problem is now the door is shut. Oh, he's going up there anyways. Oh no, never mind. Okay, so it needs to be dark in here. Maybe. Yeah, because that, that, those don't work unless it's dark, apparently. Oh. Whoops. There we go. Nice. Okay, that was in the tra in one of the trailers. You had to get rid of the, the things, and then there was a secret, a secret passageway behind them. That was cool. Okay, open. Can we open? It's really dark in here. My goodness. Where are we going? have to keep oh drain there we go yay now I can open the door put the drain back on so that he doesn't fall through oh what what was that oh do you need the drain done no okay go what's what's going on why why isn't he moving Why can't, why can't he climb up the sides of the thing? Oh, shut the doors. Oh boy. There he goes. There we go. Okay. And now I gotta wait for the thing to. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I was curious. I was worried that he wasn't actually gonna be able to breathe underwater. That's that was the main thing that I was confused. I was concerned about. It's kind of neat, though, just like the, the, the whole concept of this guy going through life and trying to, trying to survive and just grow. 
What is this? Uh oh. That's a spider web. Oh! Wow. How did I hit that one? I managed to, to, to get through that without without doing anything actually. Oh, there's a nail. What is this? What is going on here? What is that? Oh! Whoa! Okay. That was weird. How did I do that? Okay, sometimes I wonder if this thing just does things on its own. Well, it, it is doing things on its own. I'm not doing anything. How the hell did we get out into outer space? Are we not even on Earth? This is weird. That is so weird. What is going on here? Ooh. Oh, that is cool. I clicked on it three times and the wind took it and blew it away. So now he's cli he's flying on a dandelion. The end. Okay. Um that I don't even know what to say about that. That was just it was such a cool little concept. Little just such a short game. That was the whole thing. That was the entire thing. I don't know what to think about that. Like I don't I don't I don't understand what the concept was. It was a cool little uh just like a little puzzle game, but like the art style was awesome. The ambiance was amazing. Um but like the I don't I don't feel like I had closure at the end of that. It just it, it makes no sense. Like I I don't I don't get where I was supposed to be what I was supposed to be doing, what I was supposed to be feeling for the uh for the character or anything like that. So it's I I don't know. I'm like I have I I have feelings of un unidentifiable emotions towards that, but at the same time though too, I don't know what happened or why it happened or what I was doing. It just like it seems like I was going to try and find a gigantic dandelion so that I could I could fly off into space and maybe return home or something. I don't know. But <laughs> really cool game. Um let me know in the comments down below what you guys think the, the, the video game was, or this was about because that would be great um, if somebody could kind of like shed some light on, on uh, what it actually meant or what it was supposed to kind of like entail or anything like that because I'm, I'm really interested, especially with these kind of like artsy pieces, their, um, their overall meaning or, or what, um, what you guys took away from that because you can... Uh, I, I'm a firm believer of everybody has their own opinion and everybody can uh, can divulge something totally different out of one piece of art, and that's basically what this is. Is like it's it's an art piece, and you're supposed to uh, provoke. It's supposed to provoke emotions, and it's supposed to kind of uh, create or make you think, create create like a thought process in your head of what you think. And you get 12 people in a room and you show them the same art piece and everybody will tell you something different, whether or not, it, as long as they don't hear somebody else's ideas. It's, it's really kind of neat to see, to see that kind of thing. But I'm going to leave this episode here because the game's done. And there was no, there was no uh, credits or anything like that, which is kind of weird. That, that's, uh, that's something that I'm a little, bit, a little bit upset about as well because I'd love to know who... Well, I guess the, I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll link... Uh, to the Steam page and the developers on the Steam page so you guys can go check it out. Um, but, yeah, really, really, really neat game. Um, and, honestly, the puzzles weren't too super difficult. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It was really, really cool. So thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this kind of stuff, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And uh, leave me those comments down below, letting me know what you guys thought about this game uh, and what you guys want to see on the channel, because um, I, I, I'd love to get you guys' input. But until next video, take it easy.